mysterious rock art and monuments. Why they were created? What was the intention? Today we are going to search historical monuments here in Ostfold, Norway. There are some ancient drawings which has around 3000 years. We still don't know what all these drawings means. If we are going to answer the question about mystery drawing. The Björnstad ship is a very large sculpture. Probably the largest in Northern Europe. The ship is facing right to the sea. There are two powerful men with axes on the ship. Behind each of them there is a smaller figure and 48 vertical lines that mark the rest of the crew. This provokes to think were there such large ships in Bronze Age. As you see, near me there are some fields what they are supposing 3000 years ago here was uh, mostly water that's why this stone drawing drawing in the stone it's showing big ship that's only a theory that here all this place around me was with water surrounded with water and that can be actually true because 3000 years ago water here in this area was uh, actually water was ar around 25 meters higher than now some of these sculptures could have ritual function and were associated with the cult of fertility. However, the most popular form is the image of the ship, often equipped with crew lines. As a rule, rock carving are located in places that they are open during the day. The petroglyphs in Begby are among the most characteristic in the country. We see warriors here, people dancing, chariots and animals. Chariots are pulled probably by horses. Blowing scents may indicate that they are related to the celebration of spring and cultivation of cereals. So far, archaeologists have not been able to find exactly what tools were used. Probably it was hard stones. There is no doubt that the sun and fertility played very important role. These places are actually full of history and mystery. You can find many ships uh, drawings many warrior drawings but also there are some drawings are, it's really hard to guess what these drawings means what was the purpose they are in this area these people who was doing this they didn't choose it because they choose it to do it they have a reason to make these drawings 
right here. There is hope to discover the mystery of petroglyphs. Currently, three Norwegian enthusiasts are interested in the matter. Their hunts are held at night once a week and they find new petroglyphs on almost every trip. Their research may bring us closer to solving the mystery. Photogrammetry it is a new research that helps us to see even more in petroglyphs. Next place, nothing suggests to you an entrance to a site of historical importance. Here you can find burial mounds. We are about to enter this gate. We are now in old cemetery. It's also around 3000 years back. And as you see, now it's coming to be a little bit more creepy. It's much darker here. And uh, you feel actually a little bit of uh, mystery and mystic of this place coming here in these woods alone and in the dark it can be pretty scary it's in the middle of the day and we didn't see actually anybody definitely this place is a little bit different with energy and uh, with everything the deeper we were in the forest the more the anxiety grow. During this trip, we felt the dark energy of this place. Despite this, we felt that we need to go further. We just enter this stone place and we are going to make some videos and see how it's going on. After passing the woods, we saw nine stone circles. The stone circle at Hun are not monumentally impressive as larger stone circles such as Stonehenge. But the site is in many ways equally mysterious, as no one is completely sure what they were used for. The hold Hünnefeld is known as a burial mount. It has been thought that the site was used as a place for legal judgment or lawmaking. However, the archaeological finds of the burial sites have weakened this theory. Today it's more common that the circles were part of the burial complex or for ceremonial site for pagan worship. Maybe these nine circles have something in common with nine words in Norse mythology. Hopefully we will get more information in this place. It's uh, called Solberg Tornet. Uh, we didn't get as much information as we uh, was thinking we will get on the places we visit today and uh, on the internet it was written that we supposed to find more information here but this place is actually closed I think it's really it's actually a really hard question right now 
what this monument was meaning and also what was the reason they put these drawings in the, in the rocks after this trip will be more questions than answers <laughs> <laughs>